Hello everyone, and welcome to Late Night Mop, an indie horror game available on Game Jolt, in which I believe we play as an employee of some kind of home cleaning service, called in the middle of the night to clean up this residence, which, well, you know me, I, this immediately caught my interest when somebody suggested it on the Discord, because I just love job simulator style horror games. I like having some kind of mundane task to keep me preoccupied while all kinds of horrifying things are happening all around me. Now another interesting thing to note, uh, I notice it says a game by Lixian. Isn't Lixian Markiplier's editor? If so, this is someone who certainly has a lot of experience with the ins and outs of horror games, so I can't wait to try this. Sorry for calling you so late, but uh, would you mind going by the house and do a quick cleanup? I, uh, I made a bit of a mess and uh, I need the house cleaned as I have some guests coming over in the morning. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, seems normal enough. Oh boy, it's a spooky house, is it? Uh... Am I going to get a flashlight, or is this going to be like a motion light type of setup? Motion light it is, and what a startling one at that. Okay, we have our tools, which, why was that already here? What is that? Uh, okay, here I go. Doing my job. <laughs> Did I see something in that flash of lightning, or did I not? Pick up trash and place it in the can. Okay, I did it! Oh, listen, it's a dark and stormy night. You can hear the patter of the rain on the glass. Door is blocked. Not locked, blocked. There's a very serious distinction here in horror games. Locked means I need to find a key. Blocked means that something wants me to stay out. Something that's right on the other side of the door. Okay, so we can get in here. Uh, now what do you think? Now, I actually really, really enjoy cleaning in games. And to a lesser extent in real life. That's why I like Viscera cleanup details so much. I like walking into a filthy space, a place that's all out of order, and just piece by piece, bit by bit, making it right again. Uh, of course, this process may not go uninterrupted this time. Was that just an ambient sound, or was that something tapping on the window? I don't suppose we can open the blinds. I guess I'll just keep cleaning stains then, start with the stains, and then go to the garbage. Man, what did this guy do to the place? He says he has guests coming over in the morning, but it seems like he had guests over tonight. Not that. Oh, these lights aren't coming on. Office key. Okay, we'll take that. I don't know what the office is yet! What do I do? I can't go past you, right? Like, what'll happen if I try to walk towards you? I can't go in there, it's locked. Are you the ho- Oh, you've got a grin! You're not just like a black shadow! I can actually make out a twisted, wide grin on your face. Uh... I, I guess I just keep sweepity eeping since the alternative is walking even closer towards you. Yeah, that's right. If you just ignore your problems in life, one day you'll wake up and find that they're gone. 
You don't have to do anything. It doesn't require any effort on my part. Well, except the constant vigilance that I'm going to have to have from now on. Let's just keep picking objects up and throwing them in the trash. And don't even look around. Because clearly, if it wanted to hurt me, it would have done that already. Right? He's just here to check up and make sure I'm doing a good job. And so I better do it, right? I'm breaking my own rule looking around. We got the office key. I assume the office was probably one of these doors in the hall here? Because the other one said it was blocked. Wait, no, I thought there were two doors in here. I was mistaken. Have to say, though, this is starting to take shape. Not a whole lot of trash around. Floors are clean. Your guests are going to be so impressed at the immaculate state of this house. Well, as long as they can get over the haunting, I mean, that might be on you. Or at the very least, a different service from this one. Oh, so that's what that sound is. I'm crossing off items on the checklist, and I can see which rooms still remain to be cleaned. That's not what I meant to do. Dang it. Alright, one speed run later, back to where we were. Uh, we'll have to take note not to make that mistake again. Do not click on this screen. None of the buttons will help me. Just use tab. Continue picking up here, and once the living room is clean, uh, then we can start to see about that office that we picked up the key to. Come on. Yeah, it seems a little bit sluggish on the click sometimes. All right, that's all that done. Now we just have the office, the master bedroom, the master bathroom, which is presumably connected, and the bathroom itself. This is probably the office, right? Now, all oh, those lights have turned out on us. If that at the end of that hall there is the bathroom, or rather the master bedroom and bathroom, then what's behind that blocked door? Is that the Demon's Domain? Which, come to think of it, actually reminds me quite a lot of the white-faced guy from, uh, from Mortuary Assistant. I wonder if there's not some inspiration there. That game is new, but the demo's been floating around for a couple years now! Jesus! Okay. You know, I was just thinking the other day, it's been a while since I've had any big jump scares in games. Don't really have enough material for the scare reel. Well, oh, thank you, Lixian, for stepping up. Ugh. Oh, mamma mia. I don't even have time for all the random little sounds now. Is that this done? Yes? Okay. Key. I am now going to be very wary of continuing as every little action I take is a potential trigger. Total darkness down that way now. This bathroom was not cleaned. There we go. And there we go. Okay, it's a good thing this thing doesn't have functioning mirrors. And I hope it also doesn't have functioning shower curtains. I've forgotten Horror Movie 101. I was just working right next to that for a while. Maybe this door will be unblocked now? No, it still is. Which means we've got to find the key to the bedroom somewhere. That's a nice candelabra you have set up. As if you're planning a dinner for two. You and a date, or you and the demon? You, uh, just trying out for the opera. Oh, I guess that other key that I picked up was the bedroom key in the bathroom. Uh, when I get startled like that, I forget the last ten seconds or so that happened. Not the bathroom, the office. Uh, 
that scare it crouched in the corner just made me completely blank on the whole area surrounding that. I don't know how I'm mopping stains out of carpet. I must be some kind of cleaning superhero. This is the service I want for my house. And all the stuff they're willing to put up with? Oh, this is the other side of that door. Is this the epicenter of the possession? Uh, also, is there a garbage can in here? Yes, right here. This seems to be where the haunting originates. So, I'm a little weirded out that nothing's happened to me yet. Well, at least both this guy and the demon must be hydrated. Unless... Unless the demon is the one who called me here. That slow rotating fan in this is the room from the menu. There's still a stain in front of that master bathroom. Actually... Sort of looks like drag marks, although it's hard to tell. It's so dark. Hopefully there will be some kind of light there for when we open the door. Can we not push this out of the way for a quick escape? Seems like it would be a real good idea. Actually, look. That looks like a mirror, but it's been pushed into the corner, facing away from the viewer. Maybe whoever lived here was being haunted by this thing. Oh, great. Well, I... Come on, let me sweep. I still have a job to do. I'm far less confident that this shower curtain will remain as it is. Let's just clean it up now. Okay, we're not quite done. Oh boy, this is a stubborn one. Let's just get rid of that. That's it. Go home. We're not going to pick up the candles, at least. What if I moonwalk out? Can I avoid seeing any scares? Oh, that's no fun. You guys would yell at me endlessly if I did that. Been a while since I've seen my friend. Have I maybe removed the curse by removing the blood sacrifice? Oh, of course, it's too good to be true. Better just... Run forward and YOLO our way into a scare. Ah, oh, long hallway. I'm sure we'll make it to the end just fine. Uh, no. No, no, no. That is, in fact, not my job. And I can actually just leave. Thank you so much for cleaning the house. I really appreciate it. Although you did break a very special and very expensive antique and left all the pieces for me to clean. So I'll be deducting that from your payment. So yeah, thanks for that. Great. I feel so appreciated. Uh, my laziness forces me to go back. All right, let's do it. You know, in another universe, I might say that's just not my job. Call it a night. But this me is a professional and has to get the job done. Bye! Starting to think the me that just took the pay doc was the smart one. Um. 
Um, it might be a little too late to be saying this, but maybe don't go into my house. I, uh, I remember I kinda summoned a demon and totally forgot about it. Anyways, I uh, hope you're good and healthy and alive. Okay, bye. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, now we'll just go through the credits again. This time I'll actually show it. And yeah, so that was Late Night Mop. <laughs> and that was just such a fun little thing. I, I really enjoyed it a lot. It, it was full of, you know, pretty cheap jump scares, but they were well done cheap jump scares. And, you know, they were properly built up to, they were properly paced, so that each one actually hit me the way they should. But I think my favorite was the first one. And the reason for that is because it was totally silent. It, I, I like jump scares that don't validate your internal heart attack with a scare chord. To me, that makes it land even more. Oh, wow. A whole lot of names in these here credits. But yeah, it, it was fun. It was short. It was sweet. It didn't take itself too seriously, and yet it still managed to be scary, despite being a little bit goofy. And, you know, I think it actually is a pretty good show of why I like these Job Simulator-style horror games. Everything that happened, everything that scared us, happened incidentally to accomplishing some task. I'd be mopping the floor, look up, and there'd be a face right there. I'd be throwing something in the trash, turn around, and there's somebody peering around the doorway. That's what I like. It's not dependent on me walking down the hall and seeing something. It's dependent on me being in the middle of something, my thoughts preoccupied, and then noticing it. And also, me having to accomplish these tasks throughout allows it to take place in a more realistic, detailed setting, instead of a much larger, more gamey space. But on to the next one. Hello everyone, and welcome to Alone at Midnight. Now in this, we play apparently as a 12-year-old boy who wakes up in the middle of the night to discover something weird. Now, just on its premise, this is kind of reminding me a little bit of several Gary's Mod maps that I've played, such as Night Paranoia and Break-In, as well as the first Fears to Fathom episode. Let's see how it differs. Uh... I'm not having a good sleep. Here I am, waking up at 2 a.m. once again. Should probably check if my parents are back home. Oh wow, it is super dark in here. It's a good thing I have the same genetic trait as Ethan Winters, where I project a certain aura of light around me. Now, first thing we gotta check, can we open the cabinets or hide under the bed? Also, that is some very loud ambiance for this room. Does this house just have no insulation? Huh. This house is certainly very weirdly textured and barren. And I do seem a little bit short for a 12-year-old, or else everything in this house is gigantic. I seem about right compared to the door, but then... Ah, oh, that toilet is almost the size of the doorframe. Ah, oh, this is actually giving me vibes of those, like, 2012-2013 era Unity horror games. And this is on the Unity engine. What is this? Some kind of old-style phone? Uh, we can't seem to interact with it. My parents are still not home. I hope they come back soon. I miss them. Is leaving a 12-year-old home alone really the best idea? Also, I don't know how you could tell that, considering their bed was still shrouded in darkness as you approached. God, I cannot get over how loud those ambient outdoor sounds are. Also, I don't know if that's supposed to be some kind of bird occasionally punctuating the crickets, or... No, 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 no
no, 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 no. What, 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 what is that? 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 I can't crouch. I can't get under the table. Okay, how about we just go back to bed? Just attribute this to, uh, attribute this to a nightmare and say no more about it. Is there actually something out there? Okay, hug the wall. Hug the wall. Cher is taller than me. Uh, that's that Unity asset scaling, I remember. Okay. These must be the edges of this room. Because there's a hallway down there. TV right here. Okay, this is more toddler-sized than 12-year-old. Can I get up onto the table? Come on, this is life or death. If something's actually going to be chasing me, I need to be able to do that. Could have sworn I just saw something moving at the edge there, but maybe that's just me. What is this hallway? I've never seen it here before. But you're going to power on through anyway, aren't you? Brave kid. When I was this age, I hated even going to the bathroom at night. Much less exploring new pathways in this dark, cavernous house. I'm just assuming that nothing is actually going to hurt me. That's no good. I had an inner narration up until this point. Kid, you don't have anything to say about this? Oh, this place is huge. Is this blood? How is this here? How did this happen? Yeah, a little bit of delay on your concern. But, wow, that is actually a tremendous amount of blood. I don't know if I'm supposed to be following it, but it seems like it's so much smarter to hug the walls. That way I can get an idea for, like, a definition of the edge of the space. Oh, whatever. I think it's just a big empty room. What? I I'm back here. Was it just a dream or what? They're gonna Silent Hill PT us, aren't they? Nothing in the bathroom? What about here? Nothing here either. Okay, I was kind of worried about what I might find here on the second time around. What now? Is something out there? I'm just going to keep pressing forward, assuming that nothing can hurt me. No. This is the same hallway from last time. This feels very real. It can't be a dream. It's just more hallway now. The music building as I push forward? Same place. Okay, well now we know to just push towards this upper left corner, no. Right here, it's in the middle. Jeez, that dream was a real roller coaster. Glad that phone call woke me up. I'll just answer it real quick and get back to bed. All right, yeah, that, that, that's the noise that this ancient phone makes. Oh, who, who could be calling me? Thomas Edison? Hi there. Are you the son of Vincent Aliband and Mary Rogue? Yes. I'm very sorry to inform you, but they were murdered this midnight. Ah, oh, yeah, just tell this to the 12-year-old. Inform him over the phone. What? The end.
Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, oh, that had everything. The assets were completely randomly scaled with relation to each other. The environments made no sense and were uniformly textured. The sounds were all over the place in terms of their mixing. And yet, a few things did actually manage to creep me out. And the simplicity had me wondering the whole time what it was trying to pull. In other words, classic Unity horror game. Not much to it, but it killed a few minutes. I can't even be mad at this. That was such a nostalgia trip. After seeing the rest of the game, I might have to mute this audio that plays over the menu because I think it's pretty likely to be just grabbed from YouTube somewhere. Copyrighted song. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Luggage. Now, all the H.I.O. page says about this is that we play as Steve, who is returning from a camping trip and has some very important luggage to transport. Now, I want to try this out because we've got a little bit of a mystery here. What was the nature of this camping trip and what's in the briefcase? Calling it now, he didn't go alone, murdered someone, chopped them up, and stuffed their remains in there. But, let's see where this goes. What a rough trip. Oh. It's first person and voice. Back in Los Angeles. Thank you for flying Hubris Airlines. Ah, this is a unique perspective. It's got this sort of faux PS1 look. What am I gonna tell Jessica? Hmm, so it seems like I'm hiding something. She will never forgive me. Is it something mundane, as the voice acting implies, or is it something more serious? Don't forget your luggage, sir. You should see it on your way out. Huh. Now, it says that I'm returning from a camping trip, but who flies for a camping trip? I mean, surely you'd have to bring far more supplies. Even the tent alone is something you can't really take with you on a plane. And that is a very heavily forested runway, if I ever saw one. Now the music is slightly upbeat in <laughs> you know, these repeating NPCs with stiff walking animations. Uh, sure do fill out the space, even if they are a nice throwback to... Well, really more PS2 era than PS1, although that seat snapping is certainly a bit more dated. Now, like all the games in this video today, this was recommended to me by folks on the Discord. I'm really curious to know why this was recommended, since, I don't know, it doesn't really seem like a horror game so far. Although these flat storefront textures and... The music do have sort of an unnerving, almost purgatorial vibe to them. Is that me? No. No. There goes my luggage. There it is. Need to use a payphone to call a taxi now. Can't wait to get home. Yeah, you're sounding a little tired there. I'll open it when I'm home. Okay, so we can check our inventory to examine items. You don't seem all that disturbed by whatever the contents are. So far, this all seems perfectly normal. Oh, we've got bathrooms off to the side here. Can we enter them? No. Okay, so I guess we just make our way towards the exit, right? I'm so curious to see where this is going. It's the lack of presentation, the lack of explanation, the total mundanity of it that has me so curious. If it were just visuals, I think I would be a little bit weirded out by this. 
but the music almost contrasts with what we're seeing. Like, it's the kind of, like, ambience that sort of reminds me of, like, those old, like, kids' games. Like a Spy Fox type of thing. Airport. Sure thing, sir. May I get your name? Steve. Great, Steve. A cab will be on its way. Well, let's uh, see what it is I'm hiding from Jessica then. Is it something I did or. Uh, maybe I left on this camping trip because I was avoiding talking about something I did. Those look like the doors over there. Wow, that was quick. Almost like they were waiting for me. Huh. Well, I guess we made it home. Do we have to check for any mail? No? I gotta be honest, I'm dreading this a little bit because yeah, up there is where we find what fate my character was so anxiously anticipating. See, what's putting me on edge is myself right now because I, the only reason I'm so worried about this is because you guys suggested it to me. Home sweet home. Man, I regret camping with Gale. Knew it was a bad idea. Ah, there we are. No murders, just cheating. Never mind, there might be some murder yet. Was never found. The neighborhood of Ellendor was left in shock. A man in his 60s found dead at his front lawn. But that was only his body. His head is yet to be found. The killer likely took it as a trophy. A manhunt was underway for the unknown killer, with the only description of him looking like a camper. That was the <laughs> only description of the killer. With what the knew. Oh, I knew they it! The head's in the briefcase! The neighborhood for any campsites. Police have reports of an airplane passenger who left the country matching his description. How he got the severed head through airport security remains a mystery. On the night of Halloween in 1970... Okay, so that's gonna loop. Okay, wait a minute, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now it's starting to be a little bit too obvious. Maybe that's a bit of a misdirection. Could it be? I'm just gonna have to unpack and think about what I'm gonna tell Jessica. But that was only his body. His head is yet to be found. Okay, where do we put everything? Likely took it as a trophy. Where do we put everything? Oh, do I maybe need to use my player luggage? Away from the dining table to unpack. Uh, I have to do it on the dining table specifically. Real picky, this one description of the killer with what the police knew of him they <laughs> okay whatever ideas i was forming in my head just went right out the window or right through the briefcase as the case may be have we been transported what the fuck am i reliving this nightmare again not the kind of language I expected from this game. Have we been transported to the scene of one of our crimes? What was I thinking? Ah, so I'm a guilty murderer, am I? I wish I'd never thought about it. I should have just cut the firewood and went back to camp. There's an axe. An axe which vanished with me. Why? Just 
why couldn't they let the past be and moved on? Ah, uh, is that what happened? Did I perhaps return to the scene of the crime? Bring somebody with me? Uh, maybe I was just there to relive it, but somebody came with me and that was a mistake and I, they found out and I had to murder them as a result. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Gail. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I was saying Gail is a woman's name. Guess not. Although, I, I guess it still could have been cheating if this guy is awesome. How can I live with myself? I'm a monster. Uh, stop telling me everything. I'm having too much fun speculating. Now I need to follow myself back to whatever happened next. That's an interesting situation if I ever saw one. I actually can't even use the mouse to look. I just can only helplessly follow. This really is like a dream. I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to kill myself. Maybe that's why I'm here. Okay, now somehow, despite all of that being pretty thoroughly laid out in the end, the main question is, why did he kill his friend? Now he did say, I should have never thought about it, I should have just got the firewood and gone back. Maybe it was just like a spur-of-the-moment impulse? Huh, that was weird. I, I don't know if that's really horror or not. I mean, I suppose it is, but I gotta say, this is one of the stranger games I've played. It it's just, it it's not the story that's super weird, it's the way in which it's presented. That faux PS1 style, that weird, upbeat intro. I mean, if you guys hadn't suggested it to me, if I had just randomly come across this with no context, it would definitely be a lot weirder. Definitely more of a surprise. I don't even know what to make of that, but it was certainly an interesting experience. Now, if you want to try this game out for yourself, or any of the other games we played tonight, uh, those links will all be down in the description below. All of these were suggested to me via the Discord, which you should also join if you're a fan of all things creepy and comfy. That link will also be in the description. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.